forget gas stations. The silent, powerful Tesla Semi hits the road in 2025. Buckle up for the future of trucking. Hey Tesla lovers, buckle up for a revolution on the road. Imagine a world where rumbling diesel engines are replaced by a silent whir, and emissions shrink faster than a rearview mirror. That future is closer than you think, because the Tesla Semi is poised to hit the road in late 2025, and it's packed with features that will transform the trucking industry. Get ready to dive into the powerhouse that could redefine long-haul transportation. Tesla has recently brought the Tesla Semi, a project that seemed abandoned, back to life. When Tesla only manufactured 70 cars for one customer, PepsiCo, questions were raised earlier about the long-term viability of this high rate. Now, nevertheless, encouraging news suggests that Tesla is preparing for mass production of the Semi. By the end of the year, how many semis does Tesla intend to produce? What fresh features will the car be equipped with? Leading Tesla engineer Dan Priestley recently thanked Martin Brower and other customers on X for their assistance in testing, improving, and perfecting the semi. Priestley was in charge of the development of the Tesla semi. The good news about the semi development, he continued, is that Pepsi Colorado has been the only buyer of Tesla Semi since their first delivery in late 2022 and is the only source of essential components to improve Tesla's large rig. Keep an eye out for him on the road. In a recent partnership with Tesla, Martin Brower, a 90-year-old strategic supply chain partner to the world's top brands, will pilot the use of all electric semis out of their distribution center in Stockton, California. As California state requirements start to push zero-emission vehicles starting in 2026 or 2027, Martin Brower will review the success of this pilot program and consider adding the Tesla truck to their fleet on the West Coast. Their drivers have provided favorable initial reviews regarding the vehicle's performance. Finally, with Martin Brower's help, Tesla will be able to collect additional information to enhance their heavy-duty truck and hasten the process of bringing it into mass production. He said that we're gathering data while operating at just pilot quantities. We are receiving a great deal of positive feedback from drivers. We plan to use that time to make a number of enhancements, launch the product at a high volume, and ultimately strive to become a big participant in the industry. However, developing a suitable infrastructure for charging, particularly the mega charger for the semi, is a major task that Tesla must handle before bringing their huge rig to the mainstream market. Under the Federal Highway Administration's CFI Discretionary Grant Program for Charging and Fueling Infrastructure, the business has submitted an application for around $100 million. Together with $24 million of its own dollars, Tesla planned to build nine electric semi-charging stations from Laredo, Texas to Fremont, California. This one, double eight, double zero mile road would link two of Tesla's proposed but unfinished automobile factories in North America with one in Mexico. Originally, each station was supposed to have four chargers accessible to other electric trucks in the corridor and eight 750 kilowatt charges for Tesla semis. If built, the network of charging stations would be the first of its kind, serving both regional and long-distance electric haulage, which would reduce the need for diesel trucks. Regretfully, Tesla learned in January that funding for the intended mega-charger route had been refused by the Biden administration. However, according to former Tesla Vice President Rohan Patel, now is not the time to give up. The corporation may decide to change its focus to look for state support or use its own resources to set up a Tesla semi-mega charger route, according to an interview. The funding for the hydrogen station was then questioned by Patel. The amount of money spent on funding hydrogen stations will decrease. In conclusion, Tesla is determined to carry out its plans to construct the massive charger power plants, even though Biden's administration is not offering any support. This infrastructure is an essential first step towards starting the Tesla Semi's mass production later this year. How is the Tesla Semi production schedule coming along? The Tesla Semi is currently being produced on a modest scale in Nevada. The self-described infamous Tesla Semi advocate Henrik Zane has provided updates on the Semi's continued development at Gig Nevada. According to Zane, after a protracted hiatus, production of the Tesla Semi truck seems to be picking back up at the experimental site. That as the high-volume manufacturing was being built, this line would start up and potentially produce 500 to 1,000 Tesla Semis. Even though the Giga Nevada expansion is already 30% complete, there is still a long way to go before reaching the ambitious 50,000 semi annually. Thus, Tesla needs to simultaneously grow and use the current plant for pilot production. This upgrade goes beyond just the Tesla 4680 battery. 
The mind behind the 4680 battery technology Drew Bino left during the most recent round of major layoffs. I'm fairly certain that the Nevada facility will undergo some sort of alteration. My hypothesis is that Tesla will create a whole new battery just for their large rig, and the entire Nevada 4680 concept will be abandoned. This is in contrast to previous rumors that the Tesla truck would run on the 4680 battery. This change is primarily due to two factors. To properly compete with and replace diesel vehicles, which can travel up to 2,000 miles on a 300-gallon tank, the semi first needs a new battery with a longer range. Second, it appears that Tesla is looking to increase its own battery production in Nevada, using equipment from Chinese company Battery Giant Cattle. The CEO of the cattle company confirmed this partnership, saying that they are providing Giga Nevada with battery production equipment and collaborating with Tesla on battery technologies such as faster charging electrochemical structures. Although this technology is meant to be used in the Model 2, it seems unnecessary to restrict this facility to, I think it would be more beneficial to use this facility to create a new battery designed exclusively for the Tesla Semi. Please share your thoughts by leaving a comment below. Giga Berlin is also scheduled to create the Tesla Semi in addition to Giga Nevada. I must have indicated that I believe it makes sense to construct the Semi truck in Europe at Giga Berlin during a visit to Tesla's facilities in Germany this year. But since the CEO did not provide a project timeframe, I anticipate that the manufacturing of Semi Giga Berlin won't occur anytime soon, even with the addition of new capabilities. What new features will be integrated into the Tesla Semi 2025? The Tesla Semi 2025 boasts some mind-blowing features. Jackknife Terminator say goodbye to trailer jackknifes. Tesla's tech keeps the semi stable and prevents accidents. Million Mile Marvel the drivetrain is built to last a million miles, even with two motors down. Plus, it outperforms diesels in acceleration and range. Forget brake pad changes too. Software Smarts Tesla shines with its software. Fleet owners get remote diagnostics, location tracking, and predictive maintenance a dream for traditional truck owners. Self-driving savior the Tesla Semi is hardware ready for Tesla's FSD software. With self-driving development accelerating, autonomous trucks might be closer than we think. Let's talk about these features in more depth now. The Semi's substantial size and weight of the Tesla ranges from 80 to 82,000 pounds. When fully loaded, there have been concerns regarding the possibility of a jackknife. A risky situation where articulated vehicles, such as trailers, fold strangely as a result of uncontrollable inertia, frequently leading to accidents. This is regarded as the worst-case scenario for truck drivers, particularly on surfaces with poor traction. But Elon has thought of a way to solve this issue. He stated that the Tesla Semi's low center of gravity would undoubtedly help and that each wheel would be independently controlled by a motor. Thus, as part of our semi-presentation, we can just let the computer do its thing and stop her from jackknifing automatically. Additionally, the Tesla Semi's drivetrain is guaranteed to endure for a million miles, even if two of its motors failed, the Semi would still function and be faster, and have a longer range than a diesel truck. Elon went so far as to claim that the Semi would never need new brake pads. Although these accomplishments are noteworthy, Tesla's real power is found in its software. Remote diagnostic tools, location tracking, predictive maintenance, and other cutting-edge technologies that typical truck owners can only imagine will be available to fleet owners with the Tesla Semi. The Tesla Semi is intended to have self-driving capabilities just like every other Tesla EVs. At the moment, the Tesla Semi is outfitted with all the hardware required to run FSD software and function independently. Tesla has accelerated the advancement of FSD. Elon Musk stated that Tesla will spend more than $10 billion this year on its self-driving program overall. That concludes our update on the Tesla Semi for today. The time when we witness a self-driving truck on the road is not far off. Positive signals from recent times suggest that the Semi project is picking up steam once more, as pile production in Nevada continues. To reach the target of 50,000 Semi trucks annually though, Tesla will still need to keep pushing for faster development. However, the advent of mass manufacture of this massive rig may spell the end of the diesel truck era. What do you think about Tesla's plans for the Semi truck? Do you think Tesla can regain its original production trajectory? After the recent significant layouts, share your opinions in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel.